Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mess School tonight. I'm bringing you a video answering a question that I get asked very often, and that is what is going to be the best race for PvP in Dragonflight? And I'll explain why I'm getting asked that question and potentially what the best races are. So with that said, let's jump right into it. The big change that happened that people are starting to ask me this question is that they added an additional part to the pvp set bonus so in addition to increasing your intellect by x amount and stamina when in arena's battlegrounds war mode uh it actually they added duration of incoming crowd control effects reduced by 15 percent does not stack with similar effects i tested it does not stack with orc so just so you know if you play orc it's not gonna be like you get hardiness and you get 15 percent cc reduction no that's not how it works um this is the for everybody every race everybody as long as you have two pvp trinkets you will get the set bonus and that is why people are asking me this question now it doesn't matter what race you are stuns on you are going to be reduced by 15 percent, which isn't as good as hardiness because it's five percent but five percent i don't think it matters i think that orc is no longer the best race in pvp i think that it's going to be a few different options depending on the meta but that is the big change that happened and that's why races are pretty much whatever you want them to be as far as what the best race is going to be it seems like human is very likely to be one of the best races the reason for this is because they do have access to will to survive which gets them out of stuns so what they could do is they could just use two pvp trinkets let's just say i they could use odd use and emblem they could still get the 15 percent cc reduction and then they also have a way to get out of stuns however it might not be human either just because it's i think it's going to depend on the meta gnome could be really good um if balanced druids are solid because they get you out of roots every minute dwarf could be really good as well just because dwarf, dwarf or dark iron dwarf could be really good just because you know if feral druids affliction warlocks acid rogues are good they have the dwarf racials to get to remove bleeds reduce damage or gain stats undead another very solid um, pick because you could still play trinket if you're undead and then you have will the forsaken which gets you out of fear so really good versus warriors and warlocks and i think those are the major races that are going to be good but the good part is is that any race could be good you could be i night elf is also probably going to be really good as well just because shadow meld helps you avoid cc and then you also have the cc reduction with the trinket bonuses so again it, what it's looking like is this was a really good change by blizzard in my opinion uh any race is viable i'm thinking about going panda or i think night elf is pretty solid too human i i kind of want to test human a bit more uh i i kind of freaks me out not having a trinket but human is probably going to be one of my go-to's i think undead human or undead uh followed by dwarf darker and dwarf um, and then maybe Panda or Night Elf. I don't know. One of those is going to be good. But yeah, really solid change coming out from Blizzard. Just to like knock down Orc a little bit. It's been it's been a while since I haven't been an Orc. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy about the change. So I would love to know your thoughts or what race you think you're, is going to be good or what race you're going to play. If you have any questions at all as well, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.